Amazon and its new AI chatbot. It's a personal shopper of sorts, which can answer your questions about any kind of product. Becky Worley joins us now with how it could just change the way you shop. Good morning again, Becky. Lindsay, good morning. You know, when I see friends, it's pretty common for them to ask me, hey, I need to get a new TV. What features should I be looking for? What should I pay? I mean, I'm a consumer reporter, right? I know about this stuff. But what if there was a personalized shopping expert that you could access anytime you wanted on the internet? Well, that's what companies like Google, Amazon, and all of the big retailers are trying to create right now. This morning, more AI in retail. Amazon announcing the new shopping experience called Rufus. Although it's still in beta for a limited number of shoppers, the idea is that consumers can ask very specific questions, like compare drip and pour over coffee makers. And while you do get a list of links to products, you can also get easy to understand answers, or you can also add a follow-up question, like which one's easier to clean? So what this technology does is not only take information that you're feeding it through the questions, but it's also getting more intelligent based on the information that it has from your past purchases and the past things that you've liked. So it's going to make shopping way more efficient. It is also going to help get the best pricing available. Google launched their AI product search features before Christmas with a focus on gifting. What's a Valentine's Day gift for a good cook? Google's AI says a good cook will appreciate new and exciting ingredients to work with, such as spices, artisanal cheeses, and specialty cured meats. And then they give me a web article almost that's just for me. You'll also see AI being used in search, like at Walmart, and personalizations, like at Olay. It lets you snap a picture of your face and then AI recommends products. Or this AI model generator that lets you create a model whose skin and body shape reflect yours so you can tell what a style would look like on you. AI chatbots are gonna have a huge impact on sales and retailers know that. So retailers so far have spent about $7.8 billion on AI technology. And experts believe it will shift the retail landscape as we know it. I don't think that salespeople will necessarily go extinct. I think the AI chatbots will help salespeople do their jobs better. Now, this Amazon AI search feature is still in beta. It's not available to the public yet. But Amazon says they've been using AI or algorithmic technology for 25 years to create personalized product suggestions. They've also started using AI to weed out fake product reviews. So this artificial intelligence has a track record that may actually help us consumers in the long run. But, Lindsay, it does kind of crack me up that they call this AI Rufus. Rufus. <laughs> like, that's your buddy, it, Rufus. It's like having a personal personal Becky Worley in your pocket for all of us at home. <laughs> but I noticed how you asked the AI engine for product suggestions in your budget range. So it sounds like this could really help people save money. Well, that's one feature I've been thinking about. I mean, how many times do you get search results or read a review article that upsells you on a more expensive version of the product you want? It's actually a well-known marketing tactic called anchoring. Three price points are shown to you, and you choose the middle one, even if your budget was for the lowest price one. So if this AI helps you create a hard upper limit, you're less likely to get upsold on a more expensive product. Sorry, Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that name, it's all about the name. All right, Becky, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.